Thank you for attending this meeting about implementing new policies for our diabetic population. As nurses, you know evidence-based practice influences healthcare policies and benchmarks. Implementing evidence-based practice strategies is effective because it reviews, analyzes, and translates the most recent scientific findings. The objective is to immediately integrate the current best studies, professional experience, and patient preference into clinical care so clinicians may provide safe patient-centered care. The evidence-based strategies to implement include the framework to follow, risk assessment, screen testing, treatment, and continuum of care. Early indications of success will be noted by having increased patients HGBA1C tested in the at-risk population. Indications that will be seen over time will show the decrease of HGBA1C in patients with better control of their diabetes. It is necessary to acknowledge the changes this impact will have on the team's daily workflow. It will require all to get further training to ensure proper education and culturally sensitive care during treatment is being followed. It will require patient visits to be extended to ensure that the patient understands the teaching and is able to teach back. It involves translating services to ensure all patients understand their diagnosis and treatment and are receiving the same ethical care as everyone else. It will require collaboration with the IT team to set up telehealth visits to promote a continuum of care. The patients who do not have access to telehealth will be coming in during set drop-in hours to clarify any doubts or questions they have about their treatment. This will also involve a change in the schedule during these hours to ensure that the nurses are rotating equally to attend to these patients. There will also be a requirement to print written instructions in the patient's language with step-by-step step, step -step instructions on how to follow the treatment. Nurses will be required to ensure that the patients are setting up their follow-up appointments and screening appointments as needed it will also require the nurses to set time aside weekly to evaluate the dashboard metrics and focus goals for improvements in the diabetes. As you are all working towards the same goal, fostering an environment of teamwork, helping each other where needed and encouraging each other to reach these goals will ensure the success of the team and patients. It also will be necessary to attend mandatory meetings with the stakeholders to assess and evaluate the aspects of implementing the policy. Your participation in these discussions are very valuable as you have the most contact with the patients and can share possible solutions to barriers among the population. The new policy created with the population, demographics, and current benchmarks of Shakopee are here. The community needs to have new policies because of the low metrics that were reported among the at-risk slash diabetic population. Mercy Medical Center is drastically below the state of Minnesota and the national benchmarks for HGBA1C. We only met about 11% when the benchmark was 79.5% for HGBA1C. The number of patients at risk of diabetes is more than 50% of the population. These metrics have brought to our attention a clear need to change the strategy and approach in treating this population. It is imperative to set preventative measures for the diabetic population and those at risk. A policy is mandatory to address the shortfall in numbers and the nurses delivering patient-centered care. The performance reflects the shortage of quality care for the patients and how Mercy Medical Center struggles to provide a continuum of care. Diabetes can lead to countless harmful complications. Prevention is critical to spare the population from an unneeded suffering. The policy will help identify pre-diabetic patients and promote ongoing treatment for the diagnosed population. Helping patients understand and guiding them in their treatment 
will prevent the worsening of the condition. Your buy-in to this policy is essential because as nurses, we can build rapport with the patients. We have the most contact and make the most significant effect in the patient's treatment. You are the ones who make the difference in the patient's life. Studies have shown how nurses communicate with their patients and how it leads to a decrease in worsening in conditions, lower days of stays, and lower readmissions. A well-educated nurse can help reduce patient deaths and produce positive health outcomes. You can make the most significant difference in the patient's lives by providing empathetic care and making them feel as if they are heard by addressing their concerns with kindness, enhancing their quality of life and desire to adhere to their treatment plan. There are different stations set up across the room, four of them. Station one is a 10 minute video of the cultures in our population and how to adapt our treatment to their culture. It will show different scenarios and examples of common issues that you may encounter in your care. You can also access this in your email. So feel free to pay full attention because you can always refer back to it. It will bring an accompanying booklet with more details that you can refer to while providing care and you can study on your free time. Station two will review the diabetic education in line with the metric goals and needs of the population. It is essential to remember the importance of screening patients and simple ways to explain treatment plans for better comprehension. Station three is a three minute computer tutorial of how to access the dashboard of the EMR for quick reference and tip of the week on specifics of what the team will focus on that week. Station four has stakeholders as the unit coordinator and social worker, different types of resources that you should familiarize yourself with. That way you can bring this awareness to the patient of the resources that are available, especially while discussing lifestyle modifications. Patients with low resources or low income should be aware of the community resources available so they can have all their needs met. Feel free to explore all the stations as you wish. The setup is designed to be complete in about an hour so you can visit each station twice if you feel the need to. But everything will be set up for about two hours. So everything is also going to be in your emails by the end of the day for reference. So feel free to ask questions and all suggestions are welcomed as well. Thank you so much for coming out and being willing to offer the best patient care at Mercy Medical Center. Here are my references. Thank you very much.